Radiation can ionize atoms by pulling electrons out of their orbits. So ionization is the process of giving an atom charge by removing or adding electrons to it. A neutral atom has electrons which orbit a central nucleus. An alpha particle consists of two protons and two neutrons, and it can be released by an unstable nucleus. The alpha particle has strong positive charge, as it has two positive protons with no electrons to cancel them out. Due to the electrostatic attraction, the alpha particle is able to pull an electron out of orbit, where the opposite charges are attracted to each other. This forms a positive ion, as there are now more protons in the nucleus than electrons. Let's have a look at an experiment where we can actually see this happening. Ionisation can be demonstrated using a gold leaf electroscope. An electroscope consists of a metal plate connected to a rod in a chamber, with a charged thin gold leaf attached to the rod. The charging plate is used to charge the rod, so electrostatic forces can then be observed. The gold leaf is repelled from the metal stem of the electroscope as both are positively charged. So we give both the electroscope and the leaf positive charge before the experiment. The gold leaf is then repelled from the rod due to the electrostatic repulsion as they both have the same charge. A radioactive source ionises the air around the electroscope. So we could use radium or plutonium for example. And the air around the source is ionised as electrons are gained or lost due to radiation. So both positive and negative ions will be produced. The negatively charged air particles are attracted towards the electroscope. So the negative ions are attracted to the plate due to electrostatic attraction, as the ions and the plate have opposite charges. The electroscope is neutralised, causing the leaf to drop. So the gold leaf then falls, as there's no charge in the rod, so it's no longer repelled. You should be familiar with this experiment, but you don't need to explain this process in your exam. Next, let's have a look at how ionisation links to the dangers of radioactivity. Ionisation can cause damage to body tissues. Here we have an example of a human cell coming into contact with an alpha particle. The alpha particle ionises the atoms in the cell. If the atoms in DNA are ionised, it can be very damaging, as it can lead to mutations or deficiencies, so it changes the DNA. Cells can also be killed when hit directly by radiation, where the radiation acts like a bullet. This is why we must be careful when handling radioactive materials. You should be aware that radiation can harm or kill cells, but you don't need to know the details of how at GCSE. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there!